Hello, friends, and welcome to Rays of Hope, light from God's Word to carry us through these old gloomy, dark days of unrest. And friend, we need that light. Let me invite you to take your copy of God's Word, the precious Holy Bible. Turn with me over to the book of Galatians. Today we'll be in Galatians chapter 5. And I want us to look at verse number 22 as our text verse of Scripture. Galatians 5, 22. Listen to what the Bible says here. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, Then it goes on to say in verse 22, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his precious scripture today. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Exhibit God's Fruit. Exhibit God's Fruit. One of the most important things that you and I, as children of God, can do right now is live our lives in such a way that uh, people can see God in us. And when you do that, you exhibit God's fruit. Now, it's very easy to have inner conflict, especially in today, like the, that, or these days that we're living in. It's easy. Uh, to just let inner conflict rule your lives. I mean, you stop and you think about what we're going through. We're right in the middle of a plague. Some call it a pandemic. I call it a plague. Uh, However, you know, in the midst of the plague, God took Israel through nine of those and uh, blessed them, and he'll bless you through this one if you'll trust him. Uh, He's taken us through a plague. My heart goes out to all of the people in uh, Louisiana and uh, Mississippi and Alabama and all of these other places that Ida's going to hit and or has already hit. Much destruction and devastation. I mean, it would be very easy to have inner conflict and worry. But Christ can rid us of our inner conflict. Now listen to me. Man without God is always torn between two urges. Uh, In man's nature, man's nature prompts him to do wrong, and his conscience urges him to do right. Uh, Friend, I've never done anything wrong in my life that my conscience didn't tell me that I was doing wrong. Agnostic desires and crossed up emotions can keep us in a state of personal instability. Medical men have found almost, uh, well, medical men have almost concluded that this conflict is the basis of physical breakdown and sometimes nervous collapses. Doctors now believe that among the contributing causes of the common cold are stress, tension, and inner conflict. While this pandemic and plague may be terrible, friend, we make it worse on ourselves by the stress and the tension and the inner conflict that we deal with. Paul must have been in the midst of such a personal civil war when he cried, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? And of course, then Paul answered his own question when he said, I thank God through our Lord Jesus Christ. When we exhibit God's fruit in our lives, My friend, we accomplish much for the glory of God. I mean, whenever you begin to think about the fruit of the Spirit, uh, especially love, friend, there's no greater love than anyone can exhibit than the love of God. We talk about love and uh, we try to explain love and 
uh, we we take that little four letter word and sometimes we just uh, misuse it and uh, abuse it in such a way that uh, it couldn't be pleasing to God. But I tell people all the time, you can't really know what love is until you know God. Because the Bible says God is love. But if you look at these verses of Scripture again, God makes it very clear the fruit of the Spirit is love. God wants us to love. And when we love people in spite of themselves, my friend, we're doing godly love and exhibiting God's fruit. But he goes a step further and says that uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, but then he talks about joy. Friend, God's joy is our strength, and without his joy in our life, we couldn't carry on. It's no wonder that we have so much trouble because we're not experiencing his joy. And the way to experience his joy is to stay focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. I preached that message last night, the importance of staying focused on Jesus Uh, And then he says that he'll give to us peace. Now, the Bible describes his peace as a peace that passes our own understanding. It can't even be described. He wants us to be long-suffering. In other words, he don't want us to jump to any uh, major decisions about anybody or any individual. Or He wants us to have patience. And then he said gentleness. Handle things with gentleness. Uh, goodness, be good, have faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. There's nothing against being good. And friend, when you exhibit God's fruits, he'll bless you beyond measure. And friend, you'll understand love, and you'll have his peace and joy in your life. So today, I challenge you to exhibit God's fruit. Pray with me. Father, we thank you so much for your fruit. And we pray that, God, we would get our eyes off of selfish endeavors. And, uh, God, uh, that uh, we would focus on you. Because when we do that, we're exhibiting and living in your fruit. Help us do it now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, I know uh, that you noticed in that prayer, I said, help us do it because we can't do it alone. We need Jesus. And with Jesus on our side, hey, everything's going to be all right. God bless you. Pray the devotion's been a blessing to you. Let your life shine, be a light for his glory that others can see him. Your life could be the only Bible some will see or hear from. So let them see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.